And to Nigeria now where a decision by the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal has sent ripples of unrest across the country. The governing all progressive Congress led by President Bola Tinibu emerged unscathed from allegations of electoral malpractice brought forth by the main opposition parties. This comes after a closely contested election earlier this year where Tinibu secured the presidency with 37 percent of the vote. The opposition has vowed to appeal the tribunal's verdict. CGTN's Kelechi Mekalam has more from Abuja. Amid high stakes and accusations of irregularities, the tribunal's judgment was unequivocal. For the opposition, Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi, who had sought to invalidate the election, their claims fell on deaf ears. Their lawyers will now attempt to challenge the verdict. Well, the judgment has been delivered, but we have not received justice. Luckily, the Constitution has given us the right to go and appeal to the Supreme Court. Our clients are dissatisfied with the judgment just delivered. And uh, we have the firm instruction of our clients to challenge the judgment on appeal. But as the nation awaits the next legal showdown, the Nigerian Vice President Kashim Shatima offers his perspective on this pivotal moment. In this battle for the survival of the nation, in this grand symphony of democracy, your voice, your vote, is the note that cannot be silent. But even in this our moment of triumph, we'll work for the unity of this nation. The government standing united, but they must know the matter is far from dead. In the February polls, Nigeria recorded a low turnout of just 29% in a nation of over 200 million people. Tinubu garnered 8.8 .8 million votes, the fewest for any president since democracy's return in 1999. Now he's got his work cut out for him. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, introduced biometric technology and IREV, a real-time result database for transparency. However, critics argue that technical glitches and delays may have allowed room for manipulation. This verdict landed as Nigeria continues to grapple with the rising cost of living crisis due to government's removal of fuel subsidies. Officials have defended these policies as essential to revive the economy. While this ruling may bolster confidence in Tinubu's government, it's unlikely to elevate the pressing challenges Nigeria faces. Now all eyes turn to the Supreme Court where the battle for the nation's future continues. Kelechi Amekalam, CGTN Abuja, Nigeria.